We are joined now by one of the all-time greats at the University of Tulsa in softball, Caitlin Everett, who was recently named to the all-time softball team as voted by the fans. And uh, Caitlin, congratulations on being the all being on the all-time team. What's that mean to you? Thank you. Yeah, it's it's really cool. It was a really good idea to do all this, and it's been really fun to follow and see um, who gets what. And um, it's just an honor. Um, to just get plainly just to get to be a part of Tulsa softball and then it's really cool just to get voted into the all-time team as well so boy it, it's really difficult to wrap your mind around the fact you've been gone for seven years it's incredible your your career ended in 2013 but I'm I'm sure you still look back fondly on those four years at DU absolutely absolutely some of the best years of my life some met some great people people still my best friends now that were my teammates back then so um, super thankful for Tulsa softball and getting to be a student to you and it's a great great experience I'll always cherish it for sure and catching up with Caitlin Everett what are you doing right now where are you and uh, what are you up to well since I've graduated I graduated with a nursing degree and I went home back home to Dallas Texas and then a few years after that I got married to Coulter Morgan um, he's a former TU basketball player and then uh, he lives out here in Midland, so we moved to Midland. Um, and I'm an ICU nurse out here, and I just had a baby, actually, a little baby boy, a few weeks ago. So that's that's where I'm at right now, <laughs> out in the <laughs> West Texas. Well, congratulations on the birth of of your child, and uh, perhaps he's going to be a baseball player then, huh? That would be cool. I I wouldn't be disappointed. <laughs> Well, taking us back to the time you were at the University of Tulsa and you started playing right away for head coach John Barfeld. What was that like when you got recruited and then that first experience at TU? Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking about that. I actually remember having a conversation with Sammy Cobb. We, uh, she was in my class and uh, we were just thankful to be at TU and get recruited and we were just hoping we'd get to run bases or something. But it turns out we got to we got to start all four years, and um, it was really cool. I mean, I am thankful that TU recruited me. They helped me get my nursing degree, and um, I, you know, have so much give so much credit to them to for who I am today. So, yeah. Yeah, in the early going, uh, you started, I, I believe, right at the top of the order as a leadoff player. And, of course, you had that tremendous speed, and you slapped some and you hit some and that sort of thing. But um, what was it like being a leadoff hitter trying to set the table for Tulsa? Um, it, you would think it would be a lot of pressure, but I, I batted in front of Lauren Lindsay and Jill Barrett. So um, it, if I got on base – it was great. I knew I had great hitters behind me. So um, it was really fun. I loved getting on base and trying to steal the next base and mess with the, the defense. So um, it was a lot of fun, <laughs> for sure. I was going to say, speaking of on base, your, your on base percentage was 408 in your career. So that was, you know, hitting is one thing and you had a 361 average, but on base was important as well because that's just as the walk is just as good as a single. Right, right. Yeah. I did whatever I could to get on base. I didn't care if it was an error or walk or whatever. So, those uh, that first year as a freshman, I don't believe your team made the NCAA tournament. But then the following three years, you're able to get to the regionals. What was that experience like for you? It was really cool. Um, I know my sophomore and junior year, we got to go to OU and experience, you know, the you know power of OU and. It was really fun. It was really hard. We we never, you know, made it through. And then my senior year, we went to we finally got to go to Nebraska and play. And we still didn't make it out, but um, it was all a really cool experience. It was it's always fun being in postseason and just playing softball and not having to go to school and getting to um, you know, experience what postseason's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah postseason's always fun. And that team that went up to Nebraska really was a good team. I think you had over 50 wins. I mean, it was a team that appeared to be able to go deep, but in tournament play, sometimes you don't hit the ball, whatever. How frustrating was that to finish your career uh, with a couple of losses kind of in a down note? Yeah, I remember um, the some of the ESPN commentators declared that regional one of the toughest regionals because I think – all four of us were very highly ranked in the RPI. So we knew it was going to be 
not going to be easy. Um, it was disappointing, but I mean, you know, that didn't define my career or whatever. It was, um, it was cool to get to go to Nebraska and play. And, um, but unfortunately we just didn't, we didn't make it past, but yeah. One of the uh, young ladies we've talked to recently is Shelby Estacado, who played for baseball, played baseball for baseball, uh, for, for uh, USA baseball on the women's side. But you and I think Sammy Cobb and maybe Jill Barrett were kind of trailblazers for that. You got to play baseball at, uh, at some point. What was that like? Yeah, that was really cool. I, I think it was 2012. We got to go. We made the USA women's baseball team. We got to go to the World Cup in Canada. Um, that was a lot of fun. It was a really great experience. Um, we got to meet lots of cool people. I felt like it um, kind of made me a better softball player as well, just getting to um, continue to play throughout the summer um, and work on my skills. And um, but that was really that was really neat and unexpected experience. And it was really cool that a few of us TU girls got to do that. And now Shelby is continuing on to do that for, for TU. So and at the end of, at the end of your career, Caitlin, you were number one on a number of different offensive lists, and you're still number one on a couple of them. Uh, but players like Jill Barrett have come through and and surpassed you in a couple of the categories. What does that mean for the program? What does that tell you about TU softball? Yeah, she, I think she broke like a couple of my records while I was there, so it was great. I mean, it's like you want your team to be as good or better than you because that means you know you're going to do great things and um, it's definitely a team sport. So um, it was fun breaking records. It's fun having records. Uh, I mean, they're meant to be broken, um, but it's always cool to see people uh, see the program continue to get better and better. It's exciting to watch. And do you do a pretty good job in keeping up with the program and, and, and obviously maybe via the distance, you know, the ability to get on, uh, you know, to get on Facebook or to, or to get on the, the website to, to watch games. Do you have a chance to watch some games once in a while? I do. I've been up to a couple of games and I think I, I remember, I, I think I went down to Houston to watch them play some, and I still talk to coach Chrissy occasionally. So I definitely keep up with, with TU for sure. TU softball. My husband Caitlin, and I will go back up there sometimes too. So. Oh, absolutely. A couple of TU yeah. grads. Uh, Caitlin, as you look back on it, what did the TU experience mean for you? And I'm talking about everything. The softball was terrific, a great experience, but the entire four years at the university. Yeah, I mean, I def I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for Tulsa softball. I mean, I got to get my nursing degree while I was there playing. I met some amazing people. It got me, you know, into USA baseball um, and some of my lifelong friends. Um, and then I, you know, my husband, had a connection to TU so literally lots of things in my life wouldn't be I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for TU and thankfully TU softball reached out to me to recruit me and that's where I went can't be I'm so thankful Caitlin thank you so much for taking the time uh, stay cool there in Midland and, and uh, <laughs> stay safe and again congratulations on the birth of your child and again thank you for taking the time thank you thank you good to see you Bruce